Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at how much damage you can expect inside the bore of a weapon that's fired corrosive ammo and hasn't been cleaned in eight years. Now, before we get into today's video, I want to let you know that we are actually sponsoring a nonprofit organization uh, in honor of what would have been my daughter's first birthday. If you guys already haven't heard, um, my daughter Lily passed away from a rare disease called Zellweger syndrome last July. And in honor of her, we've started a nonprofit that helps families that are traveling from the hospital to home uh, adjust. And basically what we do is we send them a care package that's full of items that insurance won't cover, but is basically necessary to take care of medically needy children. So right now we're having a t-shirt fundraiser. Um, there's going to be a link in the description. If you don't want a shirt, you can also uh, just donate. There'll be a link for that as well. All right, enough of that. Let's get back to uh, some of the gun stuff. So I want to talk about a couple precautions of this test. Obviously, this yeah, isn't a conclusive test where we can uh, come out with a perfect a conclusion. Bit. Also, uh, specifically the weapon we're using, Moise and the Gaunts, are known for having manufacturing right, defects, when you're ready, dude. Uh, specifically in the year that we're using. So mine is a okay. Model 9130 from 1942, and in case you're not a big history fan during that time, Russia was pretty busy defending against Nazi Germany, and so they were pushing out rifles basically as fast as they could. Uh, so we're going to go over some ways that I mitigated those issues later, but I just want you guys to know that. Um, and then rusting depends on a number of factors. If you live in a drier climate, you're not going to have as much rusting as when you would live in a more uh, wet climate. So first we needed to make sure that the rifle was up to specifications. So a new Moisin Nagant uh, based off of Soviet standards of 1942 from the Tula plant, which I actually got my hands on, um, had a certain number of specifications uh, for the outside dimensions for the barrel. And so basically the only way I could tell the quality of this weapon uh, was to see if it met those standards. And so using a caliper that is accurate to the thousandth of an inch, uh, we went ahead, measured each portion of the chamber, uh, the bell, and basically the diameter, outer diameter of the barrel to find that it matched exactly specifications of uh, the Soviet Union at that time, which actually I was pretty surprised about. Uh, so we know that at a minimum the outside dimensions of the barrel and the weapon system were accurate and it wasn't some sort of manufactured defect. Also when I purchased this weapon roughly eight years ago I took calipers in and measured the uh, inner diameter of the grooves and the lands also known as the bore diameter uh, to find that they were perfectly within tolerance which is pretty surprising for a Moisin the Gaunt. Um, and then also we need to understand what can rust do. So simply put, rusting is when any mass that contains iron reacts with water and oxygen in the atmosphere to, uh, to create iron oxide. Now the reason that's bad is because the iron oxide pulls the iron from the mass, making it weak and actually breaking chunks off of it. Uh, what it looks like in a barrel basically is pitting, which is big chunks of metal that are missing. Uh, bell damage, which is near the tip of the uh, barrel where the projectile comes out, which affects accuracy, and then de-rifling. So inside your rifle, uh, you have those lands and grooves that create that spiral pattern that uh, basically put a spiral on the projectile and make it far more accurate. And when you rust, it de-rifles it in an uneven fashion, which makes it incredibly inaccurate. So now let's move on to the results. Um, as stated before, we fired roughly a thousand rounds through this rifle and didn't clean it for eight years. Uh, so after pulling it out, it was incredibly rusty. I cleaned it. It took quite some time. And then I took a caliper and measured the inner uh, diameter of the bore. Basically what we found is that our bore started out at 0.300 when I purchased the weapon. And then after the eight years, it increased to 0.309, which is just over a 2% increase. And then the groove diameter increased from 0.314 to 0.318. Now obviously it doesn't sound like a lot, but visually if you look at the photos taken of the inside rifling of the barrel, you can tell that there's been pretty extensive physical damage. So I hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Uh, stick around for, for more videos, and uh, don't forget to check out the link in the description for Lily's List. Go ahead and get a t-shirt. We only got 10 days left on it. Really appreciate it, guys, and I'll catch you next time.